Hi everyone, my name is Jess and welcome to my channel. Okay guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're having a great day today. And for today's video, I want to share with you three new DIYs that I made extremely easy and budget friendly with a high end look. And these DIYs are perfect to decorate your home, um, any area on your home, but I think they are so, so good to put on your kitchen, to decorate your kitchen. I think they turn out amazing. And I just hope that this video helps you and inspires you to be creative. If you like this video, a big thumbs up that really helps to support this channel. And make sure that you are subscribed and hit the bell to get notified every single time that I'm going to be uploading new videos and also make sure that you check the links in the description box because I'm going to leave you there my webpage jessamite.com and my other channel Jess on my home we recently post a new video it's so cool so you need to check that the links are always in the description box so yeah I hope that you like this one and let's get started Okay guys, so for this project, I'm going to be using this wire basket that you can get at Dollar Tree. This is supposed to be in gold color, but I already painted in black for a previous project, so I'm reusing this one. And now what I want to do is make like a small circle with, you can use maybe a piece of foam board, cardboard, paper whatever you have so I cut a circle and I stick that with hot glue on top and then I'm going to be using my um, spray paint in black color and I'm going to give it another coat of paint to make sure that everything looks in the same color and with a nice coat then I'm going to be using some raffia. I got this raffia from Dollar Tree. They have it right now for, I think, for the fall season. So I'm going to be using these and I'm going to be um, sticking these on top of the circle that I just cut. And I'm going to try to cover that circle with the raffia and some hot glue. And, and I'm going to stick these in a circular way. Next, I'm going to be using this kind of lid. It's basically made of a circular wooden piece and a wooden cap. I'm reusing this one, so that's why it's black already. But yeah, you can use anything that you have at home. And then I'm going to be using this paper plate holder. I got this from a thrift store. They are super cheap, but you can also get this from Amazon. And I found a few of them, so I'm going to leave you the links in the description box. You can use these for so many things. I'm going to be using these as a like a tray for this piece and I'm going to be adding some greenery I also got the greenery from Amazon it's basically like a garland I just got a small piece I add this on the tray and then I'm going to be adding a candle inside this is just for like decoration I'm not going to be using this candle but you can use a battery candle and you can turn that on and it's going to look amazing For the next project, I'm going to be using this foam ball that I got from Dollar Tree and these come in a set of three and two, I think, I'm not sure. I think this is like the medium size and I'm going to be using these and some of these suits. I got this one at Walmart and I'm basically going to be covering this foam ball with the ute and hot glue. It's super easy to do and once you're done with that you can add a little bit of like fire to the ute this is going to burn the small little hairs that protrudes from the ute um, and it's going to give it more like a high-end look and it's going to give it I think more like more texture and color I do these in all my projects when I work with rope then I'm going to be using these I think the name of these is carrot um, vase I got it from Dollar Tree and I love the shape it has and I think it's perfect to, to add it on my kitchen so basically what I'm going to be doing is to put this bowl on top to it's going to work like a lid and I love it and I think it looks super cute you maybe can add some water or something like that um, I'm going to be using this for only uh, decoration purposes I think it's going to look so cool on my kitchen and I love the idea mm -hmm. 
for this next project I'm going to be using these wind shines that I got from Dollar Tree I have these for a long time uh, when I used to decorate like very farmhouse style so I decided to do something a little bit different and all of them has like a small bell hanging from the wind shines so I'm going to be using the three bells from these three pieces Next, I'm going to be using this plant hanger that you can also get from Dollar Tree and it's super cool because it has uh, three different chains. Um, so I'm going to be using these, but um, they are super long. So I'm going to be cutting the three of them in three different levels to be able to hang my bells and that they can look like in three different levels. Okay, once I was done with that part, this is how they look and I think it looks super cute. Now I want to make them look all in just one color. So I'm going to be using my spray paint in black color. I'm going to spray paint these outside and then I'm going to let it dry. Once I was done, I'm going to be using this metallic gold um, paint. I got this, I think, from Walmart. Um, and basically what I'm going to be doing is to add a very small amount of paint on all my bells. And then with my finger, I'm going to try to try to remove a little bit of that paint. This is going to give it like a very kind of like old weather look or something like that. And I love to do that um, with a black and gold color. And I think this is a perfect project for that. I'm going to be doing the same in my three bells and also a little bit on the chains. Okay, once I was done, this is how it's going to look. Now, I need to hang this from something. So you can use a piece of plunger like these. You can get this from Dollar Tree. I already have one piece cut from, from a previous project, so I'm going to be reusing these. Um, and just to add like a nice final look on one side, I'm going to be using one of these wooden caps and I'm going to be sticking that on one side of, of my stick. Next, I'm going to give these one single color. So I'm going to be using some shock paint in black color. I'm going to paint these and then I'm going to let it dry. Guys, you can use anything that you have to hang your bells, but this is a really fun option and I think it's going to look super cool at the end. Next, to add some texture, you can use this adhesive cork sheet from Dollar Tree if you want to have that um, texture. I'm actually going to be using this um, coaster that you can get from Ikea I think they come in a set of two for only two dollars so basically one is only one dollar and I'm going to be adding these to my stick I'm going to add a nail to make sure that is super strong and then I'm going to be adding like a tooth hanger on the back side to be able to hang these from the wall this is a really um, easy solution to be able to hang your bells with the chains but you can be creative and you can do so many other things maybe you can use a frame and add the core sheet um, to give that texture to the frame and hang your chains and the bells on the wall. Once I was done guys, this is how my project turned out. It was super, super easy to do. You basically can do all of these DIYs in like five minutes or less. The only thing that is going to take a little bit more of time is the spray paint because you need to let that dry. But guys, if you want, you can use chalk paint to paint these. So yeah, I hope that you like and enjoy this video. Um, and if you do, please say big thumbs up. Let me know in the comments which of these ideas is your favorite. Make sure that you are subscribed, that you hit the bell and that you share this video with friends and family remember to follow me on all my social media pages my web page and my other channel just on my home and also remember to check my amazon favorites in the description box Mwah. love you so much and see you in my next video bye guys